How's it going, everyone? Welcome to another episode. Dan and I are out at the ponds right now, and I'm going to be doing a review on both the regular and the MTB Pro Box of March. And there will be a part two to this video, and this is what we'll be getting ready to go do after we do the review, is Dan and I are going to have like a little tournament with each or both of the baits in each of these boxes. And uh, it'll just be kind of a cool twist instead of just going out and trying to catch fish on the baits. But in this video, I'm just going to be doing a review on the baits in each of these boxes and having you guys get an idea of what is in this box. And after this video, if you haven't seen part two, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can go watch that. And uh, hopefully we'll catch some nice fish. So without any further delay, we're going to go ahead and get into the regular brown box for the month of March. Okay, so opening up the first box of the month of March, this is the regular box. You'll first see your bay card. This tells you the information about each and every one of the lures in the box, the price, the company, what the bait is called. Getting into what is in this month's box, we first have a live target yellow perch. This is like a jointed crankbait. It's kind of like a shad wrap. And these are very good baits for early on in the year because they generally have a tight wiggle. Very good cold water baits. Plus they're like a flat sided bait, which even makes it better. On to bait number two, these look very interesting. These are basically a micro finesse jig, but what they remind me of is this is the same head that is uh, Z-Man's Ned Rig head. So this is kind of a Ned Rig jig, if that makes any sense. I think me and Dan are both hoping to get these, so these look like they could work, especially early in the year, finesse technique could definitely be the ticket. Then we got some Daiichi red hooks. Then we also have five inch Cabin Creek uh, creatures. These are just like a little soft plastic creature bait. Throw this on a Texas rig. Could definitely see that working out here today. And last but not least, we have some Z-Man plastics. These are like little crawls. Could be used on a trailer or like a Ned Rig head. Uh, definitely a little finesse presentation for you right there as well. You got your Dibble Digest. This is Mystery Tackle Boxes monthly magazine that you get in every box. And then you also have a KVD. And no, it's not Kevin Van Dam sticker that you can put on your truck or whatever you want to put it on. So with that said, let's get on to box number three. The second box, this is the MTV Pro. You get a little bit more bang for your buck in this. Uh, first off, you have the same exact plastics as we got in the regular, except this is a full size pack. Uh, you get the same cards. We also have some baby mad packers. I've actually never used these, but these are some Ned Bait soft plastics. We have a live target. This is a crawfish, this is like a medium diver. I've used these exact crankbaits in the past. I really do like them. We have a spinnerbait by Jenko Fishing. Never heard of them, but I'll be anxious to try that out as well. We got some real deal shads right here by Big Bite Baits. I don't know if the fish are gonna be bedding right now, but these are definitely very good bedding soft plastics to use. We have the same exact uh, Stroom micro jig from Z-Man in this box as well. So no matter what box I get, I'm definitely going to be able to try these. And then last but not least, we have a Bagley uh, suspending jerk bait, And I am definitely looking forward to using that. It has a uh, spin tail on the back, so that's kind of unique. That probably would be my go-to after I do get this box to try it originally. Okay, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed the unboxing segment. And uh, be sure to watch part two. Me and Dan are getting ready to do that right now. Uh, but to decide who is going to be used in which box for part two, we're going to actually include a fish catch. So whoever can, what, basically what we brought tied up for these ponds, we got like two crankbaits and two uh, soft plastics. Whoever can catch the first fish gets to pick which box they want. And I'll include that fish catch into this video. And then part two will be the actual tournament between me and Dan. So you ready to go get them? Yeah. Let's go see who gets what box first. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. Is it? Yeah, this is our first fish to decide who gets the box. I caught it on this crankbait. Looks like a pretty good one. We'll probably see it. It's a nice one. Let me barely hook. Get him rehooked. Yeah. There it goes. Oh, I'm gonna go down and get him actually. Alrighty, first fish of the day. Now I get to pick which box I want. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. guys so this is my first fish of the day nice little fish about a two pounder right there caught it on a square bow that we already had tied up and that was the rules so this is going to be the ending of the video i'm going to go ahead and let this fish go there he goes right there and i'm going to go pick what mystery tackle box i want i don't know i don't know what i want 
I got the jerk bait. This box definitely has more options. I'm really liking that jerk bait, but the only reason I want to go to this box is for this live target. I think that could catch them. I don't know. I think I'm actually going to go with the uh, the brown box. So Dan, you got stuck with the, the black box. Oh. And uh, I think I'm going to go with the brown box, surprisingly. Just because I like the, the baits that this one has in it, honestly. I, I, and I have... That definitely has more options. You really can't go wrong with either one of them, honestly. That, just, that live target is just calling my name. So that's going to be our choice. Well, I did go ahead and end up going with the brown box. The regular MTB, good old standard subscription for the challenge. Be sure to tune in for part two. It'll be linked right down in the description below. Should be a good time. We might even hit up some more ponds. But right now, we're getting ready to go out there and do a little 1v1 tournament with these boxes. Have a good day, guys, and I'll see you next time.